What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 35 now of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. Now returning is special guest Joker from Joker Productions. I had him on an earlier episode during the summer that turned out to be the most watched episode of Room Tour Project. He's back showing off his completely revamped setup. I think you guys are really going to like it. And as always, you know the routine. We have some really awesome setups planned to show off. So let's kick off episode 35. First up is Josh, just Josh actually, and he gave us a little sneak peek behind the scenes at his YouTube channel and all the gear he has that is currently running it. Into his desk setup, he is going with the triple monitor LG setup here with a 34 inch LG monitor in the middle with two 22 inch monitors from LG on each side, giving him a ton of real estate. Now into his peripherals, he's rocking the Razer Death Adder mouse and the Razer Chroma keyboard, going with that whole Chroma lineup there to match everything with his RGB colors, and the Razer Firefly as his mouse pad. He also has the Blue Yeti microphone, the Rode mic arm, some genius USB speakers, tons of LED lights behind the desk to give it some nice backlighting, and his Astro Gaming A40 headset for all of his audio needs. Now you also saw his MacBook Pro and a ton of really cool customized scuff controllers there, which he can use with his PC if he chooses, or for his console of choice, which is the Xbox One, which he has sitting on his desk with the Kinect as well. And to complete the rest of his gear for his gaming setup, what better choice to go with than his DX racing chair in red and black? And then speaking of red and black into his themed PC, he has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780, the AMD FX 6350, 16GB of RAM, all in the CM Storm Scout Advanced Warfare case again, which will complement his setup's theme. Now we have Ryu, and actually Ryu is one of the first people that gave me the inspiration to change my setup a few years back, and I had him on an earlier episode, this time revamped for 2016, and he's got a lot going on. He's a 70 inch 4K TV from Vizio, a 46 inch Sony 3D TV, and a 34 inch ultra wide LG monitor, as well as a 2015 iMac tons of displays here got some rgb phillips hue lighting around the room and tons of gears to prepare your ears for his peripherals he has the logitech mx masters mouse the razer black widow chroma keyboard a midi keyboard for music production the razer firefly mouse pad logitech 5.1 surround sound system the blue mophie audiophile headphones audio technica at 2020 microphone with a steinberg ur22 audio interface to the JBL LSR 308 Studio monitors and the JBL Studio subwoofer for his PC with the Definitive Technology Studio 5.1 soundbar and subwoofer for his TV. You also probably saw an Apple Watch laying around and an iPad Pro. Tons of stuff in here. You can see he even has his very own theater seating here so he can kick back, you know, play some of his uh, console games on that massive 70 inch TV. He actually has two each of the PS4 and the Xbox One. This is just an insane gaming and entertainment setup here. A crazy room. Uh, great job with this. It's making my wallet cry just by looking at it. But I'm sure this would uh, be awesome just to relax and hang out in. Great job with this. This is a sick setup. Next up from Kelvin is a nice double monitor setup here. And I am absolutely loving the look of that wooden desk. Those monitors are both the BenQ RL 2455 HM monitors. They are both 24 inches a piece and they fit together side by side very nicely. Getting into his peripherals, his keyboard is the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with MX red switches inside. Into his mouse, he's rocking the Razer Death Adder Chroma, which is obviously going to be going along with the RGB keyboard very nicely with all the matching RGB lights. And his headphones, or the headset, is the Astro A50, the newer revamped version. And underneath his desk, you can see great cable management, and that subwoofer is a part of his Logitech Z506 5.1 speaker system. But uh, yeah, all the cables kept up very nice and tidy, thanks to the IKEA Signum there. No cables drooping down, everything is very well organized. And in the cabinet next to his desk, he has both the Xbox One and the PS4, so both consoles to go along with his PC. And speaking of which, Inside, he is rocking the Intel Core i7 4790K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, the MSI GTX 970 graphics card, 
all inside that NZXT Phantom P240 case in white. He has some LED strips inside his case, as well as around his desk, and that's obviously going to help him match all of his RGB and chroma products here. So a great job on the aesthetics. Again, a really nice double monitor setup, and I can't say this anymore. I love the look of that desk. Great job on this one. And here we have an extremely simple, but very like rustic looking setup here. I love the look and theme to this with the wooden desk, the pebbles at the background there, the mug. It all just looks really nice and a really chill setup. Getting into his gear, that monitor is the LG 34UM95, a 3440 by 1440 display. He has the SteelSeries Rival 300 mouse to go along with his Code 87 keyboard with Cherry MX clear switches inside. Very nice. He's the Grace M9XX DAC and amp for his Foster THX00 headphones. And into his PC, he has the Intel i7-5860K. That's on an MSI X99A SLI Plus motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, and a NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti graphics card. He nailed the simplistic theme here, and I love the warm color tones throughout. Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. I run a PC gaming and hardware review channel here on YouTube called Joker Productions, and today I'm gonna to be taking you on a tour through my brand new setup for 2016. I recently did an entire vlog series over on my channel documenting the transformation, but I wanted to do the final tour in a big way. Now let's get straight into the setup. A huge part of this remodel besides painting was setting up the second Linmon desk from Ikea. These things look great and they're super affordable at around $45. I do have a Signum, but the majority of my cable management was handled through a pair of cable channels that I have stuck to the backside of my desk, so that's helping keep things nice and clean, which gives me an inviting space to work in and a professional backdrop for all of my videos. The centerpiece of the setup is a pair of fractal design Define R5s which house my two primary use PCs. The one on the left I use for testing new hardware on the channel, so its configuration does change somewhat frequently. It is currently running a liquid cooled Skylake based i5-6600K, which I have overclocked to 4.9GHz with 16GB of DDR4 memory packed into an EVGA Z170 FTW motherboard. Finally for the graphics I'm running the very newly released GTX 970 Hybrid from EVGA, making this a completely liquid cooled system which means a lot of overclocking potential. The main rig that I use for gaming, video editing, and running my channel in general is an X99 based system on the 6 core i7-5820K which I have overclocked to 4.6GHz. This PC also has 16GB of DDR4 RAM but on an ASUS X99A motherboard and powering all of my gaming needs is a pair of GTX 980 Ti's for getting silky smooth 144Hz performance on my 1440p Acer XB270HU G-Sync monitor. Now you may be wondering what this gigantic television is doing on my desk. Well, that is in fact not a television, but a 40-inch 4K Korean monitor. Its low response time and 60Hz refresh rate at 4K make this an essential tool in running my channel thanks to the sheer amount of screen real estate that 4K can provide. As for my day-to-day -day peripherals go, I use a Waz keyboard with Cherry MX brown switches and custom Joker Productions keycaps. Nice touch indeed, if I don't mind saying so myself. My go-to mouse of choice for gaming and everyday use is the Myonix Caster, although the MX Master from Logitech does make an appearance for video editing needs. My seldom used speakers are the Creative T4 Wireless. I say seldom because I really use headphones pretty much all the time through my Mayflower Objective 2 Amp and ODAC. The two headphones which I use mostly are the California Silverados and the Fisher FA011s which I store neatly on a hook under my desk when I'm not using them. Other day-to-day -day items on my desk include the Audio-Technica AT2035 on a newer boom arm that I run through my Scarlett Solo audio interface. My primary mobile device is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, but I also keep the OnePlus X close by on my desk for notifications because, frankly, the S6 Edge is just not great at delivering on-screen visual notifications. But that is my setup overview here for 2016. This video is brought to you by Nice, a company that essentially lets you try things out for free before you buy it. They have a great selection of tech to pick from, and make sure to stay tuned on my channel where I'll be looking at a $25 drone and telling you whether it's worth it or not. 
I'm kidding. Thought I did it again, but I didn't do it. I got it right this time. That's going to do it for episode 35, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this episode a big thumbs up to show your support. And a big thank you to Joker for being on this episode and showing off his revamp setup. If you guys want to check out his channel, all the awesome stuff that he does at Joker Productions, I will put his link in the description down below as well. And also down there is where you can find a kind of compiled list of all the top products and really cool stuff that you saw on this episode. I'll put them down below as well so you can check out um, anything that you thought was maybe cool if you want to pick it up. And also down there you can find some simple instructions on how to submit your setup to possibly be entered for a future episode of Room Tour Project. So check the description down below. Got tons of information. If you guys want, you can follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. Very active on there. Always talk with my fans and stuff like that. We're approaching 20k, so make sure to follow me on there. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any episodes of Room Tour Project coming up in the future. As well as all the really awesome tech reviews I got coming up really soon. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed episode 35. Have a good day.